Hey there guys, welcome back again. Today we are going to look at a different way of approaching Nginx server and changing it. So we are going to see how to create an Ubuntu EC2 instance and install Docker in that and uh, create an Nginx default page, access it and also try to change the default page to our own desired file or page. Okay. So first let's try to install Ubuntu instance. Okay. I mean launch Ubuntu, Ubuntu instance. Okay, let's go here. Click on launch instance. Give a name. Uh, let's go with NGINX. You practice. Okay. Now click on Ubuntu because that's the operating system we want. Leave everything as default here because we are going for the free tire account. So that's why. Now keep it. Let's select the key pair. Uh, I'm going to select YT1. If you do not have a key pair, click on create new key pair. Enter some name here and click on create key pair okay it will be downloaded for you in your local system okay now coming to here you need to allow http and https here because we are going to access nginx on the internet right we will be accessing on the internet using https request so click on edit here again because we need to change this you can rename this or leave it like that only https anywhere https anywhere so it looks fine okay now come down storage leave it as default because you are not going for the big, big project right number of instances also one leave it now click on launch instance so it will be created just wait for some time and now wait until and now wait until it comes into running state okay okay finally it ha it is running now let's connect it to our local system you already know how to connect right so now go here for the connect to instance go into ssh client i am trying to connect it to my local system because it's much easier for us to do the work in that and now open powershell and go for the directory where our file dot pem file is downloaded and just paste this link over there in that directory it will ask for access click on i mean type yes just wait for some time boom it is connected now in this ubuntu instance we need to install docker and access nginx page through that particular docker container okay now let's first of all let's update it sudo app update okay now it will be updating the packages okay from here on we'll be going copy pasting because if we type each and every one of them it will take a lot of time so what we'll be doing is here this is the process we'll follow ubuntu instance has been created we have updated the file oh shit that command is actually wrong i guess but it still worked anyway okay let's do it again anyway for our safety purposes okay let's update it again okay now okay so it's updating again differently this time okay now let's go with the second step which we need to install docker for the safety purpose just click on docker version here you will be no so there is no docker here we need to install it here you can see the command has been there now just copy paste or just type that command so i said no typing but i still typed anyway so sudo opt install docker.io we are installing that so just let me big, uh, make this big okay now click on enter docker will be installed for you just wait for some time okay docker has been successfully installed so let's look at the next step which is we need to start docker and we need to enable docker and here we are just going for the docker we are not going for the entire docker or the or docker hub part you know for that you need to enter your credentials and access that we are not going for a big project we are simply practicing it so that is the reason why i'm just going with only these commands okay this is a docker version you can check it uh, beforehand also that's no problem and now let's create an nginx server page with name web server this is where you it will is different from linux operating system so here we need to create sudo docker run that means we are creating that particular uh, server with a directory particular port which is 8080 and the name coming is like we are giving is web server for what purpose nginx server purpose okay so now enter it will be extracting give it some time okay okay it's done now the next thing we need to do is 
we need to stop this so before that let's verify if that page is actually running or not okay go here and copy this public ip address okay come back here paste it just click on enter boom your nginx default page is this so now we need to change this default page how we'll do that i mean all you have to do is change them so first let's stop it okay i'm going to stop this oh shit it's pasted two times okay just a minute okay sudo docker stop web server let's stop this it will take some time but it will stop okay so now it is stopped so and another thing what we need to do is here is we have to remove that particular web server the directory itself why we are removing it because we are trying to rename it to our own particular file right so now let's check it if that particular uh you know container or directory is removed or not so the container is not there no directory at all we need to create our own container and our own directory that means the container that what you have created you have removed in this one okay uh now let's create our own file you can just simply use this command or the below one too we'll look at the below one next but for now let's go with this hello world let's enter so it's not found as i thought so yeah there was an issue but it's resolved now maybe it took some time okay now let's look at that page if it is running or not so all you have to do is we will create another like we have to run it again okay i'll explain this what exactly this is sudo docker run just simply like that the before one we are running it on a directory with port 8080 okay now here pwd means the present working directory which is the root page of uh nginx server which is slash user slash share slash nginx slash html slash index.html this is uh this particular index.html file is the one we are changing okay the default page we are trying to change so that is the reason why we have given this path with the directory name web server nginx the same the name we are trying to give here okay now just click enter our container has been generated now if you remember the above one this one you will see the particular container has been created whereas at the top uh where was it uh, here it was not there the container was totally removed so here it is there okay so that means this container is there so now this is there now what we try to do is let's go back here refresh it it's changed how it is changed because i have given the command hello world over here where was it hello world over here so that's how you create an ubuntu ec2 instance install docker in that and change the default page of nginx server using this process and also let's look at <coughs> the other one that i told you right if you remember this what happens if you use this one the cat command this is the file end of the file and the particular command or the code that we have typed over here okay now oh i'm sorry let's paste it here okay and click enter but i don't want hello world over here let's remove that okay just give me a minute okay now we'll copy this again just Control c here enter okay i need to change that hello world okay so it's changed now let's refresh it and check it's changed so that's how you change your default nginx page so i hope this video has helped you a lot and if you have liked this video subscribe for more content like this and if you want any specific video about aws or data analysis you can mention in the comment below i will check them i mean i'll try to make a video on that too so i'll see you guys in the next video and also do not forget to terminate this particular instance okay do not directly terminate this close all the windows of whatever instance you try to use it doesn't matter to me so that's why i'm doing it okay this is done now also follow me on my instagram i recently crossed the mark of 380 i think it's 400 now so i'm hoping to reach uh, 500 soon on youtube too but it's still not easy for me so if you subscribe it will help me a lot and it will motivate me to do more content like this and also i can do more premium services on aws so that's why i need to have a lot of subscribers and engagement too to do more content like this so i'll see you guys in the next videos until then bye bye